Hi, Merry Christmas and welcome to Seeds Card Flip. We've got seven cards this week and this is a general reading so please realise that it may not resonate with everybody. If it doesn't, just take what does and leave the rest. My son has music on this channel so if you want to check it out, please feel free. Okay, the first card we've got is Wisdom. It says, let go of the need to control and trust in the wisdom of the divine plan. The key word is trust and what I want you to do is to let go of control and realize that you're okay. You can swim in the current of life, you don't have to fight it, it doesn't mean you're giving up, but you'll be much easier and life will flow much better if you relinquish control and stop fighting all the time. The second card we've got is the horse, freedom, what does it say sir? You always have a choice. Okay, now this can be quite a harsh card because what it wants you to know is that you have a choice. Some of the choices that you may have may not be easy choices, but you still do have a choice. You have a choice to move to a new house, you have a choice to change your job, you have the choice to leave a relationship. What it wants you to know is that you are free in your mind and your heart and you can change things as you want and you always have a choice. So the horse has come to you at Christmas to tell you to feel free and not to feel trapped. And so that's a good time for the horse to come to us. So thank you to the horse. The third card we've got is music. And what this wants you to do, God and the angels want you to bring music to your life this week. So being Christmas, get into the Christmas spirit, feel the music, feel it at a deep level and just really enjoy it and appreciate it. And also you may have a gift for music. It may be producing music, it may be making music, it may be playing music or even pick up an instrument and start learning it. It may be time to do something like that. So just look at those options this week, but please whatever you do, feel the music and enjoy it and appreciate it. The next card I've got is time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. What this card wants you to do is sometimes like attracts like. So some some relationships may be old and worn out, so you may have to move on to a new group of friends or new people because like attracts like and how, what you are, you sort of attract to yourself in your life. Um, it can be situations in your life, things that you may want to let, let go of so you can move on, but whatever it is, let go of the old and worn out so then you can come in. Being Christmas this week, it's the perfect time to do it and you'll feel so much better for it. This card says, Teresa, time out. Basically, it wants you to stop taking care of everybody else and to look after yourself. It says that you've been working too hard and that you need to look after yourself. Sometimes if we're constantly looking after other people, there becomes an imbalance. So you have to receive as well as give because otherwise it becomes an imbalance. And with this week being Christmas, it's nice to give, but it's also nice to receive. We need that balance in life. So please make sure of that and take time out if you need to rest this week because that is also very important. The next card I've got is teleportation. It's a crystal skull card. Okay. Right, this card says that you may be running around frantically, you know, worrying, stressing, doing too much. You need to slow down and relax because you will miss opportunities. The opportunities will pass you by and you won't see them. It also says that if you took time to meditate, that you would be able to get everything done. You could connect with the crystal skulls if you wanted to connect with them. You could connect with the angels. You could connect with God. You could connect with spirit on the other side. Whether say time and space is completely different to how we understand it. So basically the crystal skulls are saying that they want you to connect with them, but you can connect with somebody else being on the other side, whoever you believe in, or however that works for you. But if you want to try meditation, that's a good time. You can even ask for whoever you want to come into your meditation and then be quiet and listen to what you feel to see what answers you get, to see what pops into your head, see what you feel in your body. It's all answers coming to you and can be quite beneficial. And the last card we've got is abundance again. We had abundance last week. So the abundance continues. So abundance can be going to a Boxing Day sale and getting money off something you want. It can be receiving presents at Christmas time. It can be lots of things. It can be people coming into your life. However abundance is coming to your life, just enjoy it, just appreciate it, and Merry Christmas. Okay, this is my last card, and I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Hope you have a great time. 
and I'll give you a reading for next week. Cheers. Bye.